The topic of this webinar is the documentation wizard inside of Blueprint PCB. Often when incorporating new software or methodologies in our current design cycle, there's a lot of setup required. By using the documentation wizard, we can quickly get up and creating document sets in our tool without a lot of that setup. In this video, what I will do is create a document set in real time so you get an idea of how quickly you can be up and going and using Blueprint PCB. From our start menu, I'm going to launch the document wizard. It's a wizard that's going to walk you through some steps. You'll answer some questions, and at the end, it will create a PCB documentation set. First of all, we choose the CAD system that we're coming from here. We choose the type of file. We browse out to the file. We choose what size drawings that we want to use and what size, uh, what information we want on those drawings. What information is put on each sheet of the drawings. In this case, I'm going to have two sheets of my assembly drawing and put the parts list on the second sheet. I'll hit finish now. And what it does is it's going out to this ODB++ compressed directory. It's importing that ODB++ file into Blueprint. Then it's going out and looking at our default templates that we've created in Blueprint. And from those, it creates a documentation set. Starting with the fabrication drawing, we have notes that have been brought in, a drill chart that's been extracted from the ODB++ data, a layer stack up, and a drill pattern. Next is an assembly drawing with a top and bottom side view and some assembly notes. And finally, a parts list that was generated from the information in the ODB++ file. As you can see, Quickly, we were able to generate this documentation set just by simply importing the data and having some templates set up for things like sheet borders, continuation blocks, title blocks. So with very minimal setup, we're able to create our documentation set in Blueprint. 